This vlog was filmed completely pantsless. What's going on everyone? My name is Tyler and as you all know, this is my vlog. I hope that you all have had a good week. Mine's been physically stressful, a little mentally stressful, but primarily physically stressful. That's what work does. I don't think I'm going to divulge too much information in regards to that other than, well, a few things I might talk about a little later. One of them involves a kitten. I feel sorry for that kitten. Anyhow, uh, to continue with uh, what I decided to start last week, the nerd shirt thing, I'm wearing my vintage-esque Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles t-shirt. You can see down in there, you got Donatello being all awesome, followed by... You know, I can't remember who is who just because of the freaking uh, colors just look weird. Okay, that's Michelangelo, that's Raphael, and obviously, you all know who Leonardo is. He's the leader of the group. Uh, for those who don't know, you should probably learn. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is pretty freaking awesome. At least to me it is. So much so that I actually went out and got, well, this little guy. This is from the new series that's supposed to be coming out in Nickelodeon, which admittedly I'm a little excited about. I don't like what they've done with a couple of uh, the characters. Shredder looks a hell of a lot more menacing, which seems to be a little more coinciding with the t uh, 2003 to 2009 series that they did, where I'm kind of watching that now, and they went to the future. That's weird. I'll let it slide, though. I'm a dork. I'm going to continue to watch it until the entire series is over. Again, this might also happen with the new series. Hopefully Nickelodeon does it pretty well. Uh, from some of the background stuff I saw, they're doing it, the, the, the way that they physically set up the style looks very similar to one of the uh, original type of uh, uh, comics that originally came out with it. Um, a couple of the cooler stuff is they've gotten a few of the voice actors from the original 1985, 86 series to actually do voice work. Case in point, the guy who played Raphael originally is now doing Donatello, which is personally, you know, all right with me. The personalities seem to match up a little better, that voice actor with that particular character. One thing that they did notice that they're doing, other than making Splinter look weird, because every, everyone's used to that quote-unquote old, frail spl Splinter. He was never really old or frail. But for the most part, he was kind of physically, let's just say, about the same age as the Turtles. I mean... Yeah, they mutated. They all mutated, so technically they had a different birth date. But, I mean, physically he was never really that old. He always had that persona that he was, but that's only because he was wise. But when he needed to kick butt, he kicked butt. That's why he was a master. And learned under Yoshi, or unless you're reading the IDW series, he was reincarnated, along with the rest of his kids were reincarnated. This is kind of an interesting take. I'm figuring out, or I'm reading and getting so many different versions of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles lore, and I kind of like the IDWs. It's an interesting concept, the whole reincarnation thing. Die is one thing, come back as a mutated rat and four mutated turtles. Why not? One thing I am... Okay, I'm crazy. I know a lot of people out there are crazy too, but... Remember, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, specifically this type, and I think the Eastman type 2, the original, one of the original comic series. How can you go from three fingers, okay, kind of, let's just say that these are three fingers, three fingers, including a thumb, to two toes that look like this. this is, that's admittedly what I'm kind of excited about with the new series. They got a little anatomical on it, and they gave, as you can see, the, the, the feet on the characters an extra toe, an extra little pinkly toe. To me, is a neurotic person. Awesome, thank you. That makes so much more sense to me. I don't like the giant club foot thing, but... Hey, what can you do? Uh, another thing that they're doing is they're actually giving the... Uh, two of the other characters, specifically Michelangelo and Donatello... Uh, let's just say sharp weapons. Uh, like, well, Michelangelo. Everyone I know has gotten some type of... With the original toys to some of the newer toys everyone got that you know standard little pack of weapons that came with them 
you know, you had the standard swords for Leonardo, uh, the standard size for Raphael, the standard bow staff for Donatello, and the standard nunchucks, nunchaku, depending on who you're talking to, for Michelangelo. Well, they also had all that other crap. That just didn't make sense. Okay, the ninja stars made sense, but the other weapons, you, you, no, no one related them to that. But Michelangelo, they've decided to give him, let's see, what the heck did they call this? The, uh, Kusarigama. The Kusarigama. I'm probably mispronouncing that like a mofo, but yeah, Kusarigama. Kind of excited to see where they go with that exactly. Um, for the most part, they are keeping that, or the, the series at least the same in regards to, you know, the personalities of the individual turtles and their roles. Leonardo is still obviously the leader. Donatello is the brains, as they like to say. Uh, Raphael's the hot-headed muscle guy. And then you got Man Michelangelo. He's a hard-hitting, crazy nerd guy. Like me. And admittedly, I feel like I relate more to Michelangelo. He's a cool guy. I'm not that cool, but we'll just roll with it. I have a slew of comics, which have recently added to the ranks of the bookshelf. So, hi comics! Hi other books! Still more comics than anything else. Yeah. Rotate the screen back. Why not? Hi! Uh, and yeah, another thing I'm kind of excited about is Nickelodeon through the other toys that they're doing are doing more toys, which are more closely related to these guys, except they're I can't remember how many points of articulation they said that these individual toys had, but they have a lot of points of articulation. I'm kind of excited about that. They're roughly probably that tall. I know this is a horrible example I'm trying to explain that to you, but they're pretty tall toys. Probably maybe about the height of this spray bottle, if not to right there. But I looked at Michelangelo's and his nunchucks aren't you know, crap like that. It's actually very tiny chains that hold the nunchucks together, so they've definitely put a lot of physical articulation into this, a lot of good detailings about it. It looks like the, the, the center of the chest moves, so that's interesting. I really want to pick up those action figures, so that's going to be the next step on my continue to nerd out thing, along with a Halloween costume that I'm planning on doing, which I'm going to save that for later in two very special blogs um, around that time. Anyhow, Moving on, as I said, I was going to talk a little bit about work stuff, but this isn't necessarily a bad thing. This is actually kind of a sad thing, and it happens a lot more than people would realize. Um, in this particular example, cats in the engine compartment. Now, you can actually get a number of different animals within the engine compartment, and turn the car on, bad things tend to happen. Uh, that definitely happened with this cat. Uh, Lady came up, standard thing, parked her car, walked inside, talked to someone, they said, screw it, just pull it on up. They already knew who it was. An animal died under the hood of this woman's car, and she just didn't want to be the person to go in there and look at it. Well, I can't remember who grabbed the vehicle and started to bring it in, but I looked, and there was like a Toyota something, something with an actual metal, like, splash guard thing. And I saw its little tail dangling from the aforementioned splash guard, and I'm thinking, oh, this isn't good. And they popped the hood, and the guy that Ashley likes to comically refer to as Norman Bates lifted up the hood, reached down in there and said, oh, yeah, it's a kitten, and just pulls it out like this. The darn thing's eyes were still open. It wasn't, just, it wasn't horribly mangled. It looks like it might have gotten, say, the base of the neck, possibly severed the spine just from an impact. It, it, it was an unfortunate thing, and I'm, I feel bad for the little little kitten. But I think the most disturbing series of questions and answers of them all was when Steve said, So, alright, what do we do with this thing? And then Chester, without even missing a beat, said, Take it to the dumpster. Throw it away. You don't just do that to a kitty. You let it know it was probably a good kitty. Unless you're Ashley, then you hate cats because you're allergic to cats, in which case, burn it with fire. I don't know if anyone's necessarily familiar with this uh, Brandon Riverview area of town, but on Highway... No, not, I'm sorry, not Highway 60, Causeway. On Causeway, there was this awesome place, let's just say across the street from Chick-fil-A, the Taco Bell area, giving you guys kind of a point of reference. 
There's this place, I think, I can't remember what the name of this Italian restaurant was. All I know it was an amazing, delightful Italian place that gave some people diarrhea, as far as I know. Any place can give you diarrhea. Get the calamari. Enough said. But, uh, that place had a special memory for me, because that's one of Ashley and I's, I believe that was, in fact, Ashley and I's first date. Like, real fancy, real official, so to speak. Both got dressed up, looking cute as hell, and... Yeah, fond memory. I It was a good night. Both of us had plenty of food left over for the next day for lunch. Again, fantastic. But I kind of did my normal mo morning routine for a Wednesday when I actually happened to have my Wednesday off. And I look and see that it's no longer that awesome Italian place. I had known that they closed it down for a while. I was just kind of fearing what they were going to turn it into. Sure as shit. The Leroy Selman's. Do we really need another fucking Leroy Selmans? Don't get me wrong, steak is good. But I don't need an overpriced piece of beef jerky that I'm just going to douse in A1 sauce. If anyone knows what that's from, yes, I just totally stole that and, well, feel free to come after me. YouTube. Um, but I digress. It's It, it made me kind of sad because, again, I really like that place. It was awesome, delicious. Kind of sad to see that's going to be another fucking steak restaurant, even though there's a Longhorn Valley. Pretty much a stone's throw away from that point, so. I don't know. We'll see how all that goes. Fucking 60. Since we're on the topic of my awesome girlfriend, let's just... Key that point even more. Look what she got me. She got my little wrath. Yes, she did. No, she didn't, you know, find it in the dumpster or anything, but... She did go on eBay... Find this little guy just kind of hanging out, already ripped out, ripped open from the package, which was kind of taped back together. I mean, you do have to kind of rip them open to find out who was in there, but still. She went out of her way to get me this awesome little guy to replace the wrap that I lost at work, and he will soon be up on the shelf with the other Lego characters. I'd go do that now, but as I said at the beginning of the vlog, I'm pantsless. So I'm not going to get up and shake my tushy for you all because I'm in my underwears. Yeah. <laughs> I'm pantsless. No, seriously, I am. Again, I'd stand up for you, but I'm not because that's just lewd and I don't need people to go blind from watching this vlog. Very pasty cheeks. Very pasty. Well, I think that's going to be it for me today. As you can tell, that I'm slowly slipping into an awesome state of insanity. Got to make a few calls before I actually go to bed, try to edit this sucker, and get it up for everyone to see on YouTube. I hope that you all enjoyed the rest of your week. I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of mine, make some hours, make some money, have some fun, read some comic books, what have you, see my girlfriend. There's a list of things that I'd like to do for the remainder of this week, and hopefully I can make time for all of those. If only work wasn't in the way, or at least an issue. Anyhow, again, I hope that you all have a good week, and I'll see you next week. And I'll see you next time. Okay.